Hi everyone, today I'm finally doing a TBR unwrapping. I started this TBR wrapping thing, gift wrapping thing, sometime last year. I've only unwrapped books once in a TBR video, and then for some reason, well, I know the reason why I didn't unwrap books, because I kept buying new books, and I would read those new books, but not the old books like I wanted to. I finally cut down on my book buying and new books aren't accumulating too much. Now I'm finally gonna unwrap some of my books. I picked out some and I had some friends pick out some books. As you can see there are some gaps in there are some gaps in here. I'm actually gonna start with one book that I wanna unhaul. I know what book is in here because of the size and I can kind of see it through. I've been meaning to unhaul this book for a very long time. I'm just gonna unwrap it so you know what book I'm talking about. Oh, for those that don't know what this is about, I gift wrapped my TBR books and from time to time I want to unwrap some of those books and read. That way I'll also get to some old books that I wouldn't gravitate towards if they were just on my shelf like this. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it right now. I do have a video which is actually linked down below in every video because people kept asking me why my books are gift wrapped. So let's open this up. Mm. Oh, here's the cover. So this is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is a fantasy book. I don't really know a lot about this. I think the main character is an assassin. And I got this in a fairy loot box last year. Oh, there's still the swag in here. And back then I did want to read it so I was kind of excited for this book. But since then uh, I've seen people talk about how problematic this book is and the author has done some not okay things, so I didn't really want to read this anymore, so I'm getting rid of this. I don't know if I'm just gonna give it to my library, which I'd rather not because this is really good quality and it has the fairy loot thing in here. And I have all this swag, so maybe I can trade it on Twitter. I don't know. I don't really care. Okay, now for the books that I actually want to read. I have these four picked out. Let's start with the one that I picked out, which would be this one. I'm hoping this is what I want it to be because I want to read this book really soon for a readathon. It feels like the book and it is the size that I remember it being. By the way, this is my fantasy gift wrap. These green and yellow silver-ish books are my fantasy books and I'll get to the others in a minute. So let's unwrap this and hope it's what I want it to be. Oh, oh no, it's not what I wanted it to be. <laughs> so this is The Archived by Victoria Schwab. I'm excited for this book but I wanted to unwrap a different one. I've tried reading this before and I got one chapter in and I just wasn't in the mood for it, but maybe this time I'll actually read it. And this is about a library. Imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. Yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about this and it's Victoria Schwab, so I'm expecting to enjoy it. Let's open the other fantasy book. Charlotte chose this one for me. Let's open it up. Oh my God. So this is Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. The reason I'm not excited about unwrapping this book, the smell of this book. I bought this used and this this copy smells disgusting. I don't know, it smells like someone spilled a bunch of spices in here and I, they just don't go together. But luckily I have an ebook copy of this book, so I'll still read it, just not this book. I don't know what to do with this book. I don't want it, and I, but I don't want to give it to my library as well. This is the first book in a companion fantasy series. That's all I know, but I've enjoyed Melina Marchetta and this series is also quite popular, so I'm excited to read it. Next we have this book, which Bex chose for me, and these are my contemporary slash romance books, so let's see what Bex picked out. Why am I so bad at unwrapping these books? 
Oh my god. Okay. This is another book I wasn't sure I wanted to keep. This is Our Demon's Best Friends by Diana T. Scott, and I won this in a giveaway one or two years ago. It says on the back there are two medical residents. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. If I don't enjoy it, I'm not gonna be too upset about not reading it. Okay, and then we have this book, which Amanda chose for me. I don't remember what I called this category. I think it was just like leftovers that I didn't know what genre to put them in. So let's unwrap this. Oh my god, I know what this is. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. This is At the Edge of the Universe by Sean David Hutchinson. I love Sean David Hutchinson. I've only read one book by him. I have it right here. We Are the Ants, which is one of my favorite books of this year. I'm really excited to read this, even though I have no idea what this is about. Either way, I'm excited for this. I'm actually gonna pick out another book, hoping that I can find the one book that I want. Maybe whatever this category is, I put it in here. I don't know. So I'm gonna unwrap this one as well, hoping it will be the book that I want. Oh, I think it is. Okay, this is Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee, and the reason I wanted to unwrap this book is because I want to read it for Sapikathon, which is a readathon that will take place in December. I can link information for it down below. I'm gonna post a TBR for it, but this is one of the books that I wanted to read for it, so I'm very glad I found it. <laughs> and this is about superheroes and it features a female-female romance, which is what you're supposed to read for Sapikathon. So these are the books that I unwrapped and that I will be reading in the next few weeks. Well, this one in December. Tell me if you have read any of these books and which one I should get to first. And that was it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye!